Hello everyone, hope you're all having a good Thursday, hope you're all having a good Thanksgiving, if anyone that's watching is in America. Uh, yeah, my parents just left, it's about almost 11.30am. I went to bed very early last night because I was feeling very, I suppose, disheartened and discouraged. I've just spent the last 20 minutes thinking to myself, prior to recording this video, what do I want to talk about? Because ultimately my heart's not really in this right now. The only reason I'm making videos is to not let anyone down. I feel like I'm letting people down if I don't make videos. And if one of my close circle of friends is... How do, I, how do I put it? They're just at a very low point right now. Lots of people that I know. And it's, it affects me as well. I feel very sort of discouraged right now. Um, well, first thing I want to do is read... This is basically, I haven't written poems in a long time, if you know my videos way back when. I, I've made a few videos reciting poetry, and I haven't written poetry in a long time. I suppose this is sort of my attempt to try and to write another poem. And it sort of just reflects my mood right now. I'll read it out to you now. Made to live, made to grieve, made to suffer without love, a wry smile, a curious wink, all for show on the streets, behind closed doors, on the brink. Constant sadness, head full of sickness, feel the pinch to disappear, speak a whisper, trapped in a cage, shout and struggle, and still in the dark, say nothing, do something, no progress, no light, toil in agony, single tear, solitary plight. <laughs> I should have cut this all out because I don't know what to say. <laughs> every video. Uh, Pain is creativity, I feel. So, I thought I should try and throw myself into being creative. I tried to draw last night. It's like I said, I did one drawing last night and then by about 9pm I was just feeling very disheartened and discouraged. Went downstairs, watched TV for 50 minutes and then I went to bed really early. I went to bed before 10pm. And I woke up very late in the day, about 9am. I'm not going to hurt myself, but there's a first time for everything. I've gone my whole life not hurting myself or being destructive. I've never taken drink or drugs, but I'm feeling very tempted right now. Because it feels like no matter what I do, it's not having any sort of influence whatsoever. It's like just going around in circles. I read out a message that my friend Samantha, born of Artemis, hello if you're watching, that she sent me, basically just read out the whole message and I showed them a picture of Sam and Chris because they'd never seen them before. I'm probably just riffing on what I've said in the previous video and I have. If I am, I apologise. This is what's going on right now. Um, and I just keep getting met with the same responses, which is my mother always saying, it's a shame your friends don't live closer. And my father saying, why don't your friends come here? You've got to understand that I'm shut in and I don't get to go anywhere or do anything. And all you're suggesting is that they come here. I don't want to hurt your feelings, anyone that's watching. I suppose this is for Sam. I don't want people coming down to my level. I don't want people coming to me. It just makes me feel worthless. You've got to understand that. That people have to come to me and I'm left in a cage, basically. I don't even feel like going out today. I haven't gone out today. It's been raining. I'm in a position now where I don't feel like going out for the next however long period of time. I'm going to try and make videos. I'm going to try and be creative and draw. But I'm at the point now where I just don't even feel like leaving the house. I'm going to be made to stay in this house for Christmas as well. Not be allowed to do all I do. My father doesn't work, and my mother works part time as a cleaner. And yet they've been on holiday probably like they go on holiday for two. They go on two holidays a year, each lasting two weeks. They've been to Italy, Spain, um, Poland, Greece. They go on like two holidays a year, and I've been to Spain for a couple of days earlier this year, and. I went to Somerset like two years ago, that's it, that's all I've done. And prior to those two things, 
the last time on a holiday is probably Spain about 10 times, the last time being like 12 years ago. So yeah, my father doesn't work and he gets to go anywhere and everywhere he wants. And I know like I don't work, but I feel like I'm more motivated than him. When it gets to like later in the day, I can already tell you like 3 p.m. today, 3.30 p.m. today, my mother's gonna go to work for three, four hours. And my father's gonna be right there watching TV. And I'm trying to be, keep myself busy and keep myself creative. If I had more SD cards, I'd record loads of videos, but I don't. I have to record it, wait for it to upload, then delete it and then record a new one. Otherwise I'd record lots more videos. I'd make these videos longer, but for some reason on this SD card, I'd only record about 20 minutes of video. And then there's a situation with my friend in Somerset, like I said, I mentioned Somerset. I'm going to read out to you the message he sent me. So I went back home from the travel lodge in Beckington in the, in the middle of nowhere. Multiple buses, etc. And also, um, I wrote it on tissue because I didn't have any paper to hand. Multiple buses, etc. Got home and straight away, mother called police and they got me again. It's due to bail conditions. I'm not allowed to return home. Bloody woman is evil. Nathan is like Darren Brown. Darren Brown's a musician. We don't know. Manipulator, total opposite of me. Quick witted, people skills, etc. And now back at the same travel lodge in the same room. So there is this farm, like a commune or something, which helps homeless people like me. Talking to someone tomorrow about it, I will probably end up there. Once there, I can be housed in three months. Seems promising, I don't know, police have been helpful, they bought me McDonald's. So all the situation with Chris and Sam and the stuff with Theo and then just me feeling discouraged about the whole thing. It's becoming abundantly clear my parents don't want me to go anywhere. No matter what I do. If I try and finance my own travel, I don't even know what to do though. Booking holidays is not something I've ever had to do myself before. I don't have money, do I? Even if I started taking money at the beginning of this year, it wouldn't be very much money. But I'd never spend any money in the whole of this year. I'm just, I'm just getting nowhere, basically. It's not gonna happen. I'm trying to cling on to hope, but really there isn't any right now. I don't want people to come to me. I feel like running if someone if someone I knew from like America or something, or from another part of the world that I'm friends with, they came here, I just want to run away, I just want to run and hide. You could, you've got to understand that. I'm trying to get a dialogue between my parents having spoken to this friend Theo. If you don't know, the long story short of it is basically he's had an argument with his stepfather who's been thrown out of the house and his mother will now come back home. The long and short of it is I'm trying to get a dialogue between people. I tried calling his phone, Theo, like twice yesterday and I didn't get a response. And I don't know how a phone call works between America and here, but I'm trying to like, trying to make things happen. And then I just got very frustrated with things yesterday and this probably doesn't reflect well on me. It's going to sound really trivial and stupid right now. I like threw some cocoa powder away in the trash. And the world took exception to that. And partly the reason why I did that is because this is also trivial, I know it is. It's like this is not important at all. This is what it's like in this house, though small issues are blown up. My father, I come back home with a newspaper and I read it here. I talk about the newspaper all the time. My father sees me reading the newspaper, he comes in the room to get his keys, which are over there, leaves. He comes back home 90 minutes later with a, with a newspaper, with the exact same newspaper. And he does this all the time. And whenever I say to him, I've got a newspaper, he's to answer the question, I've got a newspaper, have you got one, have you? Yeah. And every time I speak, it's, what? What'd you say? All he said about the whole America thing, he said, let's get out the maps and let's have a look. I think that's a stalling tactic to say, let's get out and look at the maps. First of all, there aren't any maps. I don't know what you're talking about, maps. There's road atlases, road atlases for the UK. What is looking at a map going to achieve? Let's look at flights. What do you mean a map? Let's look at flights. We know 
Right, airport in New Hampshire, airport here, because I don't think it's going to be a direct flight, is it, from here to that state, American state. And there's been no point today or yesterday where I say, my parents have said, can we have a talk? Can you come in here? Which I'm open to doing. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to do, but as of right now, that's not happened where they've said, oh, do you want to talk or whatever. And I've got this mental health meeting tomorrow, which my heart's not really in it, but I'm, I'm probably going to go. Because like I've said before, I don't want to let people down. I don't want friends around here. I'm not, I'm zero, I'm minus zero percent of those videos of making friends around here now. I feel, and I feel like I have to go along with what my parents want to get what I want. But at the same time, I feel like it's not going to work anyway to do that, to do those things. And I even said, I don't want a month to pass and then we're still talking about it and six months to pass and we're still talking about this and a year to pass and we're still talking about this. But that's how it feels right now. My parents are going to get to go on holiday next year, probably to Poland to meet my brother's wife's family. And they're probably going to go to Italy or Spain again. And that was just me expressing my anger. That was really weird. I feel like punching something right now. I'm just going to be made to stay right here. They're going to go on holiday and I'm going to be right here in this house. And you've got to understand, why would I want to go from this house to like a crappy apartment? Why would anyone want to do that? But it doesn't stop the fact that I can't basically go to all these places. There's so many people that want to meet me. I don't think my parents quite realise the impact that I've had on lots of people. Yeah. I'm probably going to punch a lot of pillows or something you know, to try and get out my frustration. I'm really tempted to like hurt myself. I'm not saying that for pity, but that's how I feel. I've just got no one to talk to. I don't know what to do! I don't always, I don't do these things, okay? I don't rage and stop my hands together or anything like this. But I'm, you know, I'm frustrated, I'm not getting anywhere. Do I have to kill myself to make a point? Do I have to smash windows or walk away from home, disappear from home for a night? I don't know what to do. Thank you for watching.